Hello. It is late October and sitting here on the planet looking outward into the zodiac we see Pluto still at late Capricorn, Saturn and Jupiter in Aquarius and Neptune in Pisces, Uranus in Taurus. This is where the outer planets are traveling right now. If you've been watching any of my videos, then you know these guys have been hanging around and generally in this area of the Zodiac all year, for several years. That's how slow they move. Now, we experienced a very rare conjunction of the outer planets Saturn and Pluto. In fact, Jupiter joined in and we had a massive conjunction in January 2020. And of course, the energy of this incredible conjunction, very, very rare, hundreds of years apart in occurrences. This energy was shared into this world of ours and we've been experiencing this pandemic and ensuing challenges to all of our collective systems and structures following through them. From that, we've seen many breakdowns. So Jupiter moved into Pisces, Saturn moved into Aquarius, in fact they both moved into Aquarius together in January of 2021. Saturn's still crawling along in Aquarius. Jupiter's finally inching forward, it left Aquarius into Pisces for a few months in 2021, but it's retrograded back and they're both in Aquarius now. Next year, Jupiter is going to enter into Pisces at the very beginning of January and it'll slowly gain ground until it sits precisely conjunct Neptune. Very much a slow-moving planet. Neptune takes 164 years to make one orbit around the Sun and therefore appears to take 164 years to travel around us. Earth. Jupiter whoops around once every 12 years. So this conjunction of Jupiter and Pluto, they come together once every 12 years, but not in the sign Pisces. This conjunction of Neptune and Jupiter in Pisces, which will occur in April of 2022, specifically April 12th to the 17th, it'll be precise and bang on, where they're sitting at the same spot. So we always go back to say, what happened last time? Well, the last time was 1856 that this rare conjunction occurred. The Civil War was taking place in the U.S. of A. And who knows, maybe we'll be fully engaged in a different kind of civil war, it seems we are engaged, or they are engaged, or whoever. The U.S. citizens seem to be involved in some form of civil war. It could become quite interesting after Jupiter and Neptune are conjunct in April of next year. Both Jupiter and Neptune are the planets that symbolize religion and spirit. They are associated with the sign Pisces and they all share a common similarity, Neptune, Jupiter and Pisces. They're very sympathetic with each other. Pisces is the sign of spiritual awakening. So when Jupiter and Neptune are conjunct in Pisces next April, we would expect in general terms some increasing in intuition and increasing in imagination for many people. During this last hit, the last time these guys were conjunct in 1856, we saw the beginning of a whole fad that took over and everyone was interested for a period of years in interacting and communicating with the dead. With Ouija boards, with seances, it was very, very popular. So Jupiter conjunct Neptune could bring in some interesting manifestations in the world of religion and philosophy and spirit. This is also the energy of music. 
So some whole new music genre may manifest, something very significant occurring in the arts or in the world of music. The other thing that Neptune has to do with is conning, scamming, illusion, pretend, intentional illusion. So when Jupiter and Neptune are conjunct, Jupiter, which enlarges everything, a very big con may just be taking place. Now this would happen in individual lives potentially as well as in the larger collective. So this conjunction that takes place here will be taking place at 24 degrees of Pisces, specifically 24 degrees. If you have planets at 24 degrees of Pisces, or the other water signs, Scorpio or Cancer, this conjunction of energy is going to be forming a very powerful influence in your lives, primarily for the good. The seed potential energy of this conjunction of Jupiter and Neptune coming into our larger collective and into our individual lives. Look to your birth chart. Do you have any planets at 24 degrees of the water signs? or 24 degrees in the sign Gemini, or in the sign Sagittarius, or the sign Virgo, because this energy is also going to be interacting with people with planets in those signs at 24 degrees in a very intimate and personal and direct way. Another thing that occurred 164 years ago when Jupiter and Neptune were conjunct was a very great attachment to a very addictive drug called laudanum. And most of society's higher echelons were addicted to that one. It was easily available over the counter in the drugstores and it was highly addictive. Laudanum. Hopefully we won't see another rush of some addictive drug taking powerful influence in our society. The giant con, a big focus on some kind of drug. A spiritual awakening. A tremendous growth and expansion in all Neptunian things. And Neptune is vaccinations. It's illness. It's the hospital and health systems. So again, in April there'll be some large energy manifesting in our world for us to take note of, to observe, to work with, to learn from. It's always interesting and helpful and worthwhile to know what's coming, much like the weather. And the astrological weather is showing a really rare and strangely interesting conjunction coming towards us. The last big conjunction, of course, was the Saturn-Pluto conjunction. And we all know what happened there. January of 2020. So April of 2022 will be an interesting time and afterwards, especially immediately afterwards. Another thing that has a seed potential connected to this would be very large flooding. Neptune is water. It's lava. It's movement and liquid and therefore Jupiter conjunct Neptune, large seed, seed potentiality for again some very big floods or melting going on. Hopefully not new virus extremes. An interesting point when Jupiter and Neptune were conjunct in the late 1800s there was a very communicable, communicable disease yellow fever that was running amok in society and a great deal of to do about vaccinations should we or shouldn't we with that disease. So again, Jupiter-Neptune conjunct in a big way in April coming towards us. Another point to consider. All of the babies that are born from the April 12th point to the April 17th point in 2022 will be born with this conjunction of Jupiter and Neptune in Pisces in their birth charts. 
making them some rather unusual, rare souls coming in there during that period. All the babies in the whole world, well, being born then, and I presume that's millions of babies, are going to have this Jupiter-Neptune conjunction in their birth charts. Something they will karmically share and experience while they're living here, no doubt, on planet Earth. Take good care. Keep an eye on the astrological weather. You never know when you need a raincoat. Bye for now.